Today, I will be showing you how you can get rid of the new Roblox Studio icons and get the original ones back in Roblox Studio. And on top of that, I will be showing you how you can get your own custom Roblox Studio icons with a variety of icons for you to choose for your own. So if you want to know how you can get this, make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to get these new icons. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can get rid of these new weird icons, which I personally dislike. I really don't like them, but if you want to know how you can get rid of them, I will be showing you that in this tutorial, and in that way, you will get the original icons back, and on top of that, I will exactly show you how you can make your own custom icons. Uh, well, you can get custom icons. So that is what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want to support me. And that is all I wanted to say. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So newbie, how do we get the original ones back? So I'm going to be clicking on stop right now because I'm in a game. And it's pretty simple to get the original ones back, but the custom ones require a little bit more um, to things. Anyways, all you have to do is click on file at the top left of your screen. Just click on file, go to beta features. You will get this window and then search for new icons in DPI Aware Studio. Just tick it off save the changes and immediately restart so i'm going to be doing that right now so let's wait for studio to fully restart as you can see it is launching again and then we are loading in the game and as you can see we got the original icons back so now you can work way better in your things again as you can see remote events are the same again remote function same again everything is back again it is really cool as you can see everything everything just everything everything is normal again so that is really really cool but newbie how do we get custom icons so custom icons require a little bit more uh, of a little bit of more attention i guess so you want to enable that weird thing again so go to file go to beta features and then enable that studio dpi aware thing again and then restart it again and then studio is going to restart and then after that, we can do more things. Because this will allow us to set our own custom icons. Uh, having this enabled. So now we got the weird icons again. As you can see. Now you want to go to the link in the description. And that is a dev forum post over here by LTOB. And all you want to do, scroll down till you see visit the vanilla webpage. So just click on that. Make sure it's only 100% for your personal use. So visit the vanilla webpage, you'll be here, you'll, you'll get here. As you can see, beautiful icons, I really, really love them, so pretty cool. Anyways, just click on uh, over here, download now, and then just click, uh, no thanks, just take me to downloads. Just click on that, and then you'll see this, just click on download. And then it is going to say thanks for downloading, and then it's going to download. So I'm going to be waiting for this to finish, and then we can continue. So as you can see right now, my vanilla thingies have, uh, I mean, they have downloaded after five minutes. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to click show in a folder and it's going to br bring me to my downloads folder. I'm just going to open the zip file. As you can see right over there, I don't care, WinRAR. Okay, so now we are here. So what is this? Oh, the steps. That's pretty cool to have on our side. So let's see what we have to do. Extract the zip file. So what you want to do now is just open this and then click extract to and then you want to choose a Permanent destination for it. Yeah desktop. Why not? So I'm just gonna dump it in desktop right now and then um, when this is done we can continue So my file is apparently done extracting it was pretty it, it took like seven minutes. It was really absurd anyways 
let's see what we have to do now so let's see open choose palette select dark or night do not select that okay so go to studio over here and then click on studio settings this is interesting so now you will see this and you want uh, because you have these icons enabled again you will see this custom icon directory uh, just click on it and then search where your icons are mine are on desktop so let me just see i want the colorful but if you want yellow mono mono blue green purple red choose it i want colorful and then i want the dark one so i'm just gonna click on dark i am not going to open it i am going to click on dark and i'm gonna select the folder and then close this out some settings will take effect when you restart just restart it once again you <laughs> you're gonna have to restart it probably a lot of times in this video this is like th third or fourth time anyways we are loading back again in roblox studio and as you can see now we have the new epic icons this is how you get the custom icons as you can see everything is different now it is really really cool as you can see script module script oh module script folder dialogue remote event the icons are just super super cool right now as you can see every icon is now way better avatar test view look at all these icons they are absolutely amazing so this is how you get new custom icons and how you get rid of the old ones in roblox studio so if you did in fact enjoy the tutorial make sure to give this video a like if you like it and if you do not like this video give it a dislike subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell and i will see you all next time so my name is newbie and i say peace out